Hey, 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 my beautiful people. This is your girl, Charmaine. I'm here to do a reading for the collective. Um, so remember, this is a collective reading. So take what resonates and leave the rest. All right. Don't try to make it fit. Um, also, guys, um, this can be the past, the present, or the future. Only you will know, all right? Um, and if it doesn't resonate with you, it could definitely be someone in your energy, all right, or the person on your mind. But let's get right into these messages. Um, really quick disclaimer, as always, I let y'all know I do curse in my videos, so if you have little ones around, um, you might want to step into another room, put headphones on, or however you choose to live your life, baby, because uh, I'm not trying to tell you what to do. Just let me know that I do tend to curse at times. Not bad, though, you know. <laughs> but uh, anyway, let's get right into it. Divine Spirit, can you please show me what is going on with my lovely collective? Will that turn right over? So we have balance. We have disruption. Oh, that, I'm telling you, they flying out. We got movement, um, anxiety, and strength. All right. At the bottom of the deck, we do have sadness. All right, and so we're going to put this strength up here. So we have strength and sadness, balance, disruption, movement, and anxiety, strength and sadness. All right, so, all right, collective. So what it's looking like is lately you guys may have been trying to um, get yourself in balance, all right? Just get back into um, balance here after some sort of disruption. For some of you, uh, you could... Um, been had been balanced and now this disruption came in of course it's going to be different for everyone as this is a collective reading all right i feel like there's someone in your energy who is uh maybe trying to bring some sort of disruption here um into your life uh which may be causing you some sort of anxiety okay but i feel like there's going to be positive movement forward all right some of you guys could be feeling really sad today or over the next couple days but you do have the strength here to get things back to moving the way that you need them to be are the way you desire them to be. Um, I feel like the, the divine is bringing you guys balance back. Your balance will be restored. All right. Cause I look at this and it, and it like how this is twisted. I feel like the divine is going to twist it back where you can get back into balance and get back into alignment with whatever this may be. We'll pull some cards material to see what's going on. All right. But definitely, definitely hold on to your strength and know that you have everything you need here. All right to move forward. For some of you guys, you may need to block out someone here or whatever it is that they're trying to do here to bring disruption into your life. There could be someone here um, who likes things to be their way or just very firm in who they are. All right. And this could be someone who doesn't like to show emotion or our feelings or just someone who's very stern here. And it could be just bothering you um, and causing you some sense of anxiety here. Because uh, for some of you, you know, there needs to be some changes. All right. There needs to be some changes here within this situation. Um, for some of you, you may know that you need to move forward on your own instead of because I feel like somebody keep <clears throat> it's like things get balanced out. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys, if you hear me clear my throat, somebody don't want this message out. But oh, well, um, I feel like that, you know, somebody keeps tends to um, cause uh, disruptions here within a connection or with this could be with your family, your siblings, your lover. All right. I feel like um Somebody does not know how to take accountability here for whatever it is that they do. Or maybe someone, um, maybe you guys have been really focused on yourself here. And so someone is trying to come to disrupt that here to bring you in some sort of anxiety. All right. People do weird ass shit, y'all, to try to get people's attention. But don't let it affect you. All right. Because there will be positive movement forward, y'all. So if somebody try to affect you over the next couple of days or they already have Get back into alignment and keep it pushing. Don't let nobody come in and, and cause you disruption and have your mind going in a million and one ways. Let they ass do that on their own. All right. But let's pull some tarot to see what's going on. All right. For the all right, divine spirit, can you please show me what is going on with my collective at this time? See, we got strength type twice, but this time it came out in the reverse. All right. Collective spirit. What is going on with the collective, please? I'm just going to take the ones that turned over. We have the Seven of Swords, the High Priestess, um, 
We have the Queen of Swords, all right? Yeah. There's someone trying to uh, be strategic here in how they do things. Somebody is just weird. Instead of just coming and saying they want this new beginning or this is someone who um, causes disruptions. I feel like this is somebody who likes uh, for you to take the initiative. They come in and cause all this disruption here, you know, so you can come in and offer them something instead of they ask. Uh -uh. Hell no. But I feel like your intuition, you're starting to see this because... You see how this woman's eyes look closed, but they're really open. It's like you see, you see right through this person. You see right through this shit they're trying to do. Maybe in the past you lack the strength um, uh, or the motivation here um, within this connection to stand up and, and, and have what it is you desired here. But with this Queen of Swords energy here, y'all cutting through the bullshit. I feel like y'all really getting tired of somebody's bullshit, whether this be in your family, whether this is friends, whether this is a lover here. Yeah, we have the six. Didn't I say that? I'm telling you, you can't make shit up in tarot. This is the in the past. Like you really you probably allowed this person here to walk over you are all over you because you wanted this person to give you their love here. I get an energy of someone who may have held on to a situation um, in hopes that things would get better or they would offer you their love or that you could have a new beginning, whether this is in love or whatever, family, friends. Maybe you were wanting your friendship to get better or, you know, this person to offer and extend their true friendship here. But this is someone who's deceitful. All right. This is someone who smiles in your face and talks about you behind your back. All right. Or this is someone who tells you one thing um, about the connection. Like, yeah, I'm going to marry you. I'm going to do this. We're going to have this new beginning and you have my heart. But then they go talk about you to other people and tell people, oh, no, I'm only with them for the kids or some shit like that. And in the past, I feel like you just allowed this person to do it in hopes that uh, things would get better. But you starting to see things clearly for what they are now. And now, you know, there has to be some sort of, of movement. All right. That's too many, y'all. Oh, well, I guess we can take it. We have the Hierophant that turned over the Five of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, y'all focused on your money. We have the Ten of Wands as well. Some of you guys are moving away from this person. <clears throat> you could be um, moving physically as well. I feel like, you know, after the Ten comes the Ace. I just feel like somebody is packing their shit. Somebody is tired of dealing with this bullshit, this Seven of Swords. All right. And then not only that. I feel like this person is a liar. I feel like this is someone who does shit and think they're getting away with it, but they leave evidence, all right? Not only do they leave evidence here, they tell on themselves or they deal with people that talk, all right? Look how this bird is yelling. Look how these other birds back here is yelling. They do things thinking that they're getting away with it, but these other people are talking, Every whatever this is that if y'all worried about something or are wondering what something is, it's going to come out. There's people that's talking. This could be gossip in your community. This could be other people gossiping about the situation or um, coming to tell you what this person has said or done here. But so don't even worry about it because it's falling out under the movement card. All right. This definitely with the Hierophant could be within a marriage, a connection, a long term commitment. All right. This could even be about your spirituality. But for um, some of y'all, y'all got somebody who here that likes to talk and they're going to come tell you everything this person has said or done. But regardless if they come tell you or not. Don't let it affect you. Don't let it get you back in this energy of anxiety and allow it to disrupt you. Stay in balance and, and leave it in the divine's hands. Let the divine worry about it. Let the divine fix it. All right. Because the divine, everything is divinely guided. I feel like something is happening so you can truly, truly see that it's time to have some movement forward and you can focus on your money here. All right. And remaining grounded. Okay. Don't let this person cause you any sort of disruption here, all right? Because this is definitely what they're trying to do. All right, at the bottom of the deck, we do have the two of cups. So this definitely has to do with like a soulmate or someone you love. And remember, guys, <clears throat> soulmates are not just a lover. A soulmate can be a family member, a friend. Um, a soulmate can be anyone, really, all right? So just remember that and keep that in mind, all right? 
But let's see, Divine, can you please show me what is the strength card in the reverse? What is the strength card here in the reverse, please? The strength in the reverse. What is this strength card in reverse about, please? The strength card in the reverse. What is the strength here in the reverse? What is the strength card in the reverse, please? For the collective spirit, what messages do you have? What is the strength in the reverse, please? Please clarify. All right. All right, y'all. Yeah, we have the two of cups again, but in the reverse. All right. Like I said, you're starting to see here that there's no partnership here, no friendship. You know what I mean? You're starting to see. I'm telling you in the in the past as well, there was a lack of balance here within this partnership, this connection. You may have felt weak or really given in to situations or given into this person all the time, whether it be a friend, family member or whatever. Y'all, I did have the deck Oh, my bad. Upside down. But I feel like it was meant to come out that way. OK, because I sure thought I had it turned up the right way. But regardless, this is just someone who um, also, guys, this could be like a, a karmic, um, a karmic soulmate. Also, it could be um, a false twin flame as well. All right. Or this could be a karmic soulmate within your family or friendship. Someone who who has come in to teach you a lot of valuable lessons. All right. And to teach you how to be strong, how to tap into your strength. OK. And not allow people. We have the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom again. Some of you guys are really, really getting ready to come into some money or focus on your money or focus on a project or something like that that's going to bring you in some money here. All right. What is the Queen of Swords, please? What is the Queen of Swords for the collective? The Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords, please. All right, we have the chariot. Yes, you're definitely moving forward here, speaking your truth, speaking your mind, and cutting through the bullshit because you're ready to move forward and get to a place of happiness, get to a place where you can feel secure. I feel like you're starting to make it more about you and less about other people, okay? You're just moving forward. You're starting to see where there's a lack. With the queen of cups, yeah. With the queen of cups, you're just, you're not having it, Okay? Uh, yeah. So, all right. And then the emperor. So you're taking control of your emotions. All right. We have the queen of swords again. So you're definitely taking control of your emotions, being very strong, independent. All right. Expressing your opinion and not allowing anybody to hold you back. All right. You're just not for the ignorance. You're, you're tired of the ignorance. All right. What is the ace of cups, please? What is the ace of cups for the collective? The Ace of Cups, please. What is the Ace of Cups for the collective? The Ace of Cups. Oh, y'all, that's too many. I'm going to take... Uh, all right, we have the Ten of Wands. All right, we have the Knight of Swords. And we have <clears throat> the Two of Pentacles. All right, so this is somebody... When it came to this love offer, it seems like there was a lot of drama here. You know, you you although somebody may have been wanting... Or you were wanting this offer, or somebody was wanting to give you this ace of cups there was still a lot of drama around this because someone didn't want to take responsibility here about this two of pentacles about juggling here in the past or past situations where they had you here in multiple um situations with other options that they had all right here and so i feel like uh, that could be a big part of the reason why things didn't work out here when it came to this love offer, because somebody had other options or they were juggling several options. All right. This person could be offering their cup of love to multiple people. All right. Or this could have been a friend here that was juggling different friendships, you know, talking to you about other people and then going back to them, talking to them about you. I'm definitely picking up on a love situation as well as like a friendship that just went haywire. All right. You're starting to see someone's true colors here. Yeah. With the eight of swords and the page of wands, you may have felt trapped here. All right. You may be feeling trapped or yearning for something new. All right. But I feel like you may be getting a burst of inspiration or um, some sort of download here to help you untrap yourself out of a situation. What is the six of cups? 
What is the six of cups? Yeah, look, we have the three of cups. So some of you guys could be re um, celebrating with someone from your past. You could have some a reconciliation with someone here. You could have someone coming back here from your past. Let's get another clarifier to see. Oh, that popped right on out. All right. Um, we have... Uh, the seven of pentacles and the nine of pentacles. All right. So this could be a past lover, someone who you've seen potential with. Definitely uh, someone here that you have history with. Some sort um with the nine of pentacles. This could be someone that you meet while you're single or someone who um, helps you celebrate uh, to help you feel better about being single from walking away from something. All right. It's like you walk away from something and then you see the potential here in you being single. All right. And you start being grateful for what you do have. What I like about the nine of pentacles, the nine of pentacles is a, is someone who's self-sufficient. All right. I read this in a tarot book, but I don't remember what it was, what it was called. Um, but it was saying this is someone who has all their pentacles. All right. And all they need is that one other pentacle, which is the ten of pentacles, which is love. It's like I bring everything to the table. All I need is someone to love me. All right. And I feel like that's what you're starting to see. You're starting to see that I, I got everything I need. And I, I'm willing to wait on that one pentacle. I'm not about to be dealing with stuff like this. All right. And we have the Ace of Swords. That's the truth. All right. I love the Ace of Swords. What is the Seven of Swords, though, please? For the collective. What is the Seven of Swords for the collective spirit? What is the Seven of Swords? What is this? What is going on with this Seven of Swords? <clears throat> we have uh the six of wands in the reverse. There was a, yeah, you, you did not find success here within this friendship, within this relationship, whatever it may be here with the six of wands in reverse, because somebody was being deceitful. Somebody was lying. Somebody was doing shit. They know they wasn't supposed to gossiping. You know, this is somebody who has some sort of dishonor, hidden dishonor. And you could have found out about it, about it. Also, some of you guys are very intuitive here. So I feel like there was just this inner knowing that you shouldn't trust this person here. And then you started to see, okay, I like an aha moment. Like, all right, now I see why we're not having a victory, why we're not having success here within this friendship and this connection. Because you want some bullshit here. All right, with the five of pentacles, all right, then you see why this person, you see how, why they've made you feel left out in the cold. They, this could have been somebody who constantly abandoned the friendship or abandoned the relationship and then wanted to come back. Like you're starting to really see why somebody is the way they are or why things went the way they did within this long-term connection, whether this is a, a, a relationship or a friendship, I definitely feel like this is someone who you were committed to, someone who you were loyal to. You were loyal to the friendship. You were loyal to the relationship. And it, and it hurts. I get that. What is the Hierophant, please? What is the Hierophant? What is the Hierophant for the collective? What is the message from the Hierophant? What is the Hierophant for the collective? What is the Hierophant? The Hierophant for the collective, please. What is the message here for the collective? <clears throat> the Hierophant. All right. Look, look, see, this came out in the reverse. It's the nine of cups. All right. You seen that there was no wish fulfillment here within this situation. All right. Maybe you have wished that this person would marry you or that they um, would see that you were wish fulfillment here. But I feel like over time, you just was like, okay, this really is not my wish. Yeah, we have the strength in the star. You're definitely being guided here to heal. All right. The, you you know that there's hope, but you know that there's no hope left in this situation. There's hope here for you to heal, all right, and to find stability within yourself. I really feel like you're starting to see that you can get your own nine of cups by yourself. You don't have to have this friend, this lover, whatever the case may be here. All right. Because I'm picking up on a, a friendship, too. I don't know why. Usually I pick up on a lot of love's energy, but <clears throat> I'm definitely picking up on a friendship as well. What is the high? Pre oh, that came right on out, y'all. Didn't I, didn't I say that, y'all? 
Look, you became aware. You, your intuition let you know that this page of swords is somebody, uh, this gossip, you know, I feel like people were watching you as well. Maybe you're in the public eye here with the high priestess. You could be a tarot card reader. All right. You could be someone who's just very wise, someone who has a lot of knowledge. Look, and we have the high priestess again with the three of wands. Wow. Like these people, you there was definitely probably gossip surrounding your gifts or whatever this is that you do, whether it's tarot card reading, birth charts, um, palmistry, whatever this is you do, clairvoyant, clairaudient, mediumship, whatever this is, there was definitely um, gossip around this, all right? But I feel like you were someone who really motivated other people. You helped other people look towards the future or look to, towards something better, I feel like once you really tapped into your intuition, it caused people fear. It made them fearful because you became aware of a lot of shit that people were doing. Once you really allowed yourself to open up this intuition or these gifts that you had and people became mad because you seen them for what they really are. You seen that this shit wasn't wish fulfillment. You start seeing this deceitful ass energy. All right. You started seeing somebody for who they were. This could be several people. That you started to see. What is the five of swords? Now somebody want to be here in mental conflict. All right. I definitely get a huge energy of somebody who's in mental conflict behind the shit that they did to you. All right. The five of swords. <coughs> excuse me, guys. I felt like I had um, something in my throat. But the five of swords is definitely about someone who takes advantage of someone winning at all costs. All right. Seeking a victory at all costs. This is someone who needs to get ahead. They, they The five of swords is someone who will step on their own people to get to where they need to be. And now this person is in conflict because you found out you, you got the five of swords and the seven of swords. You found out this person for who they were. This is somebody who uses situations to feed their ego and then regret it later. You know, yeah, we got the five of pentacles and the ten of pentacles. You left this whole situation out in the cold. You are done. You're done dealing with this. What is the five of swords, please? What is the five of swords? What is the five of swords for the collective, please? Spirit, what is the five of swords for the collective? Five of swords for the collective. What is this energy for the collective spirit? The two of swords. Yeah, now this person don't know what to do. All right. They know that you're at a crossroads. And for some of you, this is them being at a crossroads. They don't know what to do because they don't know how to fix the situation because they know they fucked up. Yeah, look, with the five of wands in the world, because they know that you and then look, the ace of swords and the nine of swords. Now they're having anxiety because this truth about who they really were came to the surface and you're seeing things clearly. <clears throat> so now they're having worry, anxiety, stress. All right. Because you put something to an end here with the world card. <clears throat> all right. And now with the five of wands, now they have an all this conflict. All right. Because they know they had you in competition here with other people. Somebody like you who did good by them, whether this was a, a friendship or not. <clears throat> all right. You could be dealing with an earth sign. All right. We have a lot of, um, different signs here we have the high priestess which is cancer for me as a reader we have uh earth signs we have air signs all right we have taurus we have all signs out here all right really but the major um uh the major signs um that i'm seeing all right is uh we have cancer we have taurus all right, we have Leo here. Yeah, so those are like the major. We have another Cancer here with the Chariot. So those are, you could be dealing with any one of those signs. Does not have to be. I'm just letting you know the signs that I see out here. But those are like the major Arcana signs that I've seen, the major signs. But really, we have all signs out here on the board. All right. The collective. Let's see. What is your advice, Spirit? Spirit? What advice do you have for the collective, please? Concerning this situation. 
All right. We have the page of pentacles. Go after your opportunities. All right. You're being presented with a lot of opportunities at this time from, um, the divine look, we have the angel of the ocean. So healing, go after these opportunity and heal yourself. All right. With the six of pentacles as well, take whatever assistance is given to you. Some of y'all going to meet someone here that's going to help you heal as well as give you some sort of new opportunity. All right. And get you out of this energy of limbo. All right. Like you definitely have some healing coming in with this generosity. I get a huge energy of someone coming in here with some sort of assistance to help you out of this situation, especially for those of you who were in a connection. You may have been uh, financially dependent or shared finances, apartment, home, whatever the case may be. But the divine is bringing in something to help you be self-sufficient. All right. Some of you guys have a lot of opportunities ahead of you. For especially if you're like a tarot card reader or something like that, I feel like you're you the divine is opening a lot of doors for you right now. Your finances is going to be going up from here, all right, because you made a final choice to let this go, okay. All right, collective, those are your messages. I hope that helped you. You guys have an amazing day.